Hello, my name is Ravinder Nagalavancha. Today we will see how to create a simple subscription in B2B Data Integration Hub. Agenda for the video is we will see a, uh, we will see how to create uh, and configure a simple subscription in the operation console in the DAH operation console. We will also see how to run this subscription and uh, how to schedule this and uh, see the corresponding events in the console. So there is a prerequisite for this. So there should be an existing DAH publication, uh, which is a requirement. And uh, uh, there is another video that shows how to create a publication. You can take a look at that video to get an idea on how to create the publication. So uh, so we will be subscribing to this existing publication. So that part you, you will see in this video. So let me go to the DAH console. So this is the DH console. So let me go to the application. Uh, create a new application. Customers. As I said, uh, there should be there should be a, a publication for which we are creating the subscription right so this is the existing publication that we have so we will select that so cl click on the application new subscription So we need to select the publication. That's done. Click on next. So I'm going to select the automatic mapping. Custom mapping is something that you can do. Custom mapping is uh, a power center mapping that uh, we have to develop based on, you know, if you have any transformations that needs to be there, custom transformation that needs to be there within the mapping, then you can create them and upload the custom mapping here. But uh, for this video, I will just show you the automatic mapping. Click on next, no parameters for automatic mapping. Target is relational database and uh, select the connection. So here we can select uh, a different schedule so you can see it when it is published means whenever a data is published whenever a publication is run and there is new data it's going the subscription also will be run so that's this is like as and when the publish pu publication is run that's what it means and this is like manually running and this is by schedule you can schedule you know hourly daily weekly monthly etc so so a publication uh, you, you, you can think like a publication can run you know every day but the subscriber need not be run every day right so you can schedule a subscriber to run weekly so it will run weekly and it will just get the all the data that has been run every day for the publication so it so in this case i am selecting this part when it is published that means like when, when you run the publication the subscription also will run okay and uh, this is like the, the all available publications or you want the only the latest publication or you want the aggregated one so i'm going to select the default option here and uh, the other options are available if you select the schedule click next click on finish so this will create a mapping and a workflow in the power center repository that is associated with the data integration hub this is done the mapping creation etc is done using the mapping sdk api power center mapping sdk api and uh, uh, so yeah once this is done then 
we can see it in the designer. Also, I mean, uh, one more thing to note is like you can have multiple subscriptions to a single publication. So, you know, you can have one publication, but you can have multiple subscriptions, you know, uh, applications could be different. So one of the subscriptions could run weekly, one, sub one of the subscriptions could run every day, one of the subscriptions could be aggregate, one of the subscriptions could be, you know, all the data. So depending on the application usage. So let me go here, right. disconnect to the repository, connect it back. Okay, this is the folder and these are the mappings it created. Okay, this is for the event routing and the DA. So to create uh, the DA transformations, etc. to create the event and uh, uh, event uh, to send the data to the event details. And uh, let me go back to the hub. So now our subscription is ready. We can't run this subscription because we have selected run when the publication is run. So right now the publication is not run. So when it is run, then you know it will start automatically. So let's go and start the publication. This is our publication. Click on run. Yes. Now we go to the work workflow monitor, right? Uh, the publication workflow started and it succeeded also. So this part is done. The start work start workflow part is done using the Power Center Web Services Hub. The Web Services Hub details will be there in the system properties of the data integration hub. So that's how it is. So you can see the subscription also is done. So now if we go into the console. Events. You will see this is the you know publication event that got created. Application is customers pub. Publication is customer publish, and this is a publication. This event is completed, and there is a consumption status also. Consumption status is for the uh, subscription. So if you click on this child events here, so this is our subscription. Okay, so the publication to which we are subscribing is the customer publish and event type is subscription event status is complete so when this guy is complete this con consumption status will go to final basically that's how you know the publication event so otherwise it will stay in pending that means the consumption is pending for example if you have a subscription that is going to run next week the consumption status will stay pending for that that means the all subscribers did not yet consume the data, the published data. So you can see, okay, total consumed rows are thousand. That's what that's what that we have in the publication. So all the data is consumed here. Okay, and uh, that's about it. That's how we create the uh, subscription in the hub. And uh, yeah, for any feedback, we would love to hear from you at supportvideos@informatica.com or our Twitter handle InfoSupport. Thank you.